Welcome. In this video, I'm going to uh, show you how you can use the context menu for list view in Android. I have uh, uh, done uh, this project for now. Uh, let me show you the project right now. This is uh, the project in here. I have a managed store, stuff like this, and I have a price manager over there. And if I choose this beer thing, you see this is the uh, list. So when I long click it, I have got this context menu and I want to uh, 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 update the price and I can update the price. Then I'm going to show you how you can do this stuff for this uh, uh, list view. I have list view over here. If I have to add beers, if I want to sell some, something this, this beer or cancel, if I want to sell and then I have this is the amount in bird or in dollar you can say and uh, this is quantity 5 then the price for this one is this one and if I have to again this one and uh, if I want to sell this beer and two and I have, uh, this is as you can see this is a, uh, an item in a list view so if I want to click long press here but there is no context menu for this one okay let us uh, do this one this is the activity uh, in here uh, this is the activity for sale all right and as you can see I have add and submit menu and this is the text view and this is the list view so this is the list view sales right inside there I have defined another uh, list uh, cells uh, this is the uh, thing that we are going to see for each cells okay but I want to do it for this one this is the activity class uh, for cell activity this is the cell activity so what I'm going to do first is uh, like always you have to do uh, go over this menu and right click over here and new and menu resource file and give the context context slash your class and uh, i've done uh, for sale context i have done this one two items over there just uh, edit sale and remove sale if i want to remove from the list i can remove the, that one so i'm going to copy paste from another uh, thing okay uh, so the first thing is you know to uh, is just register for context menu and uh, your context menu okay like th this one this is my list view and i have already uh, did it but there is no context over there okay then after you do that one on create context menu you have to override this function so let me copy and let me paste on some place so but this is a sale context right sale context because I have created a r dot menu dot sale context before I have done this one so this will make uh, a context menu for the list view let us see this one all right sale items add and I want to just view sell items add uh, I want to sell beer and two beers and six beers and add again I want to make that and wine I want to this wine just one wine and this one if I want to over click now I have got edit and remove if I want to if I click this remove it has to be remove this uh, object from the list of that object okay then to do that, uh, right, I have this, this one, uh, I have to use this function on context item selected, right, on this on create context menu, uh, we have done that one just to pop up that context menu and I've got, uh, I have to override this one and now I have to choose the context menu this is edit cell and this is remove cell let us uh, do for remove cell all right if the item the menu item is uh, is remove 
sale okay if it is remove sale I don't want uh, for now uh, the things this one and <coughs> what I'm going to do is I will use the adapter view adapter uh, this is for list just uh, I have adapter view dot context menu that I need for and let me found the sale object of ace of mine from cells cells will be here cells is a list of sales this is my object sale all right doesn't matter and this is an array list of sale and this is an array list of sale I have the, the adapter the cell adapter and the leaf the, the list view is now pop up the, with the list of the cells all right it doesn't matter so uh, I, I, I can know from which just by get position by, by by gate and this is as you can see main info main info is doubt position right this is the sale that I want all right and I don't want this one all right control alt L let's format it and uh, I just I just from sales just just remove in Thai I just want to just meaningful dot position. All right, and then the, the, I don't want to refer anything. I can do like this. All right, this will remove the list of the sale, the item of the sale from uh, from the list view. Again, it has been run. All right, let me wait a couple of minutes. Go to my visor. And I think that's done. Let me add. Okay, let's do it. Okay, add beer. Five. Beer again. Russia six now remove okay it has to be removed okay uh, because I have to call the update uh, this one the update total price or I, I have to say sales adapter dot notify changed okay uh, okay I can say update total price uh, this up to total price has a, a, a something over app that control the uh, this one. All right, let me show you again. Sell items and beer five add beer and castle six. Okay, now. It has to this one will be updated and then submit. This is for uh, remove item. I hope you will do the edit one. Okay, you will just uh, prepare a dialogue and you can call that dialogue from when the item uh, is edit because the menu item is edited and then you call just uh, the dialogue you have to create a class that extends from the dialogue and you do that your stuff I, I hope this is useful for you and don't forget to subscribe I thank you for now and goodbye have a good day